Hello kids, welcome to Math Tutor. Today, we are going to learn, we are going to learn fraction. subtracting fractions. Okay. So, okay. In our, in our last class, we learned about adding like fractions. Subtracting like fractions is also same. If you want to find the difference of like fractions, what you need to do? You just need to simply find the difference of the numerator. Okay? And then we'll have the same or common denominator. Very simple. Right? Let us see with an example. Uh, let me take two fractions, two like fractions. Okay? 7 by 10 minus 2 by 10. Okay. Now, for subtracting like fractions, we have the same denominator. And what we need to, we just need to find the difference between the numerators 7 and 2. And we have the common denominator 10 here. So, what will be the answer? 7 minus 2, 5 by 10. Clear? Let us see one more example. Three by eleven minus one by eleven. See, both are like fractions. Now, what I need to do? I just need to separate the numerators and keep the common denominator here. Clear? Now. 3 minus 1 is 2, that is our new numerator and 11 is the denominator. So, 2 by 11 will be the answer. Now, let us see how to find the difference for unlike fractions. Let us take two unlike fractions, 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. First step, most important step is you have to find the LCM. So, what will be the LCM for 2 and 4? It is 4. Clear? Now, let me write the fraction here. First fraction and the second fraction. Let me keep the original fractions as it is. 1 by 2, 1 by 4. Okay? And what should be my new denominator? That is the LCM. I just found out. That is 4. Kids, are you understanding? See, I just uh, wrote the my original fractions here and I wrote my LCM which is the new denominator for the fraction in the brackets. Clear? Okay. Now, here my new denominator is 4. Okay. So, to get 4, with what number I should multiply 2? I should multiply 2 with 2 to get the new denominator 4. The same number I have to multiply with the numerator also. So, same number 2 I have to multiply the numerator. Clear? Now, coming to the second fraction, the LCM that the new denominator is 4 and I have the my original fractions denominator is also 4. So, I need not multiply, I just keeping 1 here. Clear? Now, let us multiply. 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, minus, let me write the second fraction 1 by 4. Now, we have converted the unlike fraction into like fractions. Next step is very simple. You just subtract the numerators and write the common denominator here. Are you understanding what I did? I just convert the unlike fractions into like fractions and if you are converted then very simple subtract both the numerators and just write the common denominator. So what is the most important step you are going to do? LCM. So kids you must be fully thorough with finding the LCM. Okay. Let us see one more example. 2 by 3, 8 by 15. We have to find the difference between these two fractions. 
why we call them unlike fractions because their denominators are different clear now what is the first step to find the difference we have to find the lcm of 3 and 15 what will be the lcm of 3 and 15 that is 15 will be the lcm whatever lcm we are getting here will be the new denominator for these fractions that is clear okay let me write the fractions here my original fractions let me write down 2 by 3 and 8 by 15 now what will be the my new denominator it is 15 let me write in red mark here 15 is the new denominator so what i need to do now i have to multiply the denominator so that i get my lcm denominator or the new denominator so my previous denominator was 3 i have to get 15 so i have to multiply 3 with what number you know the 3 table right so i have to multiply 3 with some number to get 15 what is that number i have to multiply with 5 so 3 fives are 15 When you are multiplying the denominator with a number, you have to multiply with the numerator with the same number. What is the number here? That is five here. Is this clear? First, we found out the LCM. Then we are multiplying the numerator and denominator to get the LCM, right? Now, here, do I need to multiply the numerator or denominator with any number? Since I already have my LCM here, I need not multiply with any number. Just for the sake, I am keeping one. Is this clear? Okay. Next step, what I need to do? Just multiply two five is ten, three five is a fifteen, minus eight by fifteen. Now this is very simple. We have come to same denominator common denominator here 15 i am just writing here and then simply subtract the numerators 10 and 8 so 10 minus 8 is 2 by 15 that is now what are we going to see now we are going to see how to subtract mixed fractions okay Let us take an example. Five one by four minus two two by three. See, this is a mixed fraction, right? Now, how to subtract these fractions? You cannot subtract as it is. You have to convert them into improper fractions. Then only you can proceed with the subtraction. Now, I am going to convert them into improper fractions. Five times four is twenty. Twenty plus one, twenty-one by four. Minus three to the six. Six plus two, eight by three. Now I have converted mixed fractions to unlike fractions. Now I can go ahead with my subtraction. So what will be the first step in subtraction? You have to find the LCM. What will be the LCM of three and four? That is, twelve is the LCM. Is this clear? Okay. Now, what will be my new LCM? A new denominator. It should be twelve. So let me write my fractions as it is: twenty-one by four minus eight by three. And what should be my new denominator? That is the LCM twelve. clear now again the process is same you have to multiply denominator with a number to get the lcm 
okay so this is a multiplication symbol i kept here so i have to get 12 so i'm multiplying 4 with 3 clear so if you are multiplying denominator with the number you have to multiply the numerator with the same number that is 3 here clear then go to the next fraction here i have to multiply 3 with 4 to get 12 so since i am multiplying denominator with the number i have to multiply numerator with the same number 4 clear kids you are understanding what we are doing we first convert the mixed fraction to improper fraction or unlike fractions we found out the lcm we got 12 as the lcm which will be our new denominator common denominator now since i have multiplying denominator with a number same number has to be multiplied with the numerator in both the cases in both the fractions got it now let me proceed with the multiplication 21 times 3 63 by 12 minus 8 times 4 32 by 12 now it's become very easy it has converted into a like fraction with the common denominator as 12 and just multiply the numerators now 63 and 32 what will be the answer 31 by 12 is the answer for this fraction i hope you understood this example if you have any doubts you can message keep subscribing for us